Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And today, guys, I'm just gonna show you how to make a multiple column form with gravity forms. All right, so what you wanna do is your form may look like this. I'm just in a preview mode right now, and your form may look like this, and you have a few options that you want, but you want it to be two columns. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your form, all right, and you wanna pick out the first column. So if they have this entitled one, you want two to three columns. Okay, maybe you want three columns with this. I'm gonna show you how to do two first. What you wanna do is you wanna go over to the gravityforms.com website and you wanna grab this code, and I'm gonna to link to this in my in my description. So there's there'll probably be a link in there somewhere, or I'll link to my website where there'll be a link to this column there. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab that code that says GFF half, all right, and there's another code that says GF right half. You need to place this inside your CSS class name inside the gravity form item. So let me show you what that means. So if you go over to this entitled tab right here, okay, and you click down on it, and you go to appearance, and then you come over here and you go to CSS class, all right, and you're gonna wanna put the first half there, okay? So that's gonna be the left half. And then let's button that up and go to the right half so let's copy this code all right go back to our form and now if we go to the phone we want that on our right half we go to appearance and we go right half all right and i'm going to show you how to do a three column one in just a second we go to right half go to update okay so we got that in there we got to update now our phone should be over here on the right side and it should be both there so let's refresh our preview and there it goes. The phone's popped up right over there. Now let me show you how to do the three column one. All right, if you want to do the three column one, you come back over here to this page, and then you come down and you only need to do a third. So GF left third, middle third, and right third. Now you need to replace the code that you just placed in. If you're doing this, you need to replace the code you put in the first one. So you see how that was GF left half? You need to replace that with the GF left third. Okay. So just come back over here and grab your other code middle and then right you go ahead and put that in yep. phones in the middle appearance and that and then the the last piece of code was right so i'm just going to go ahead and write it out here then right okay and go to save update and then we'll refresh our page right here all right, and now the email tab has popped up over there. Now this works a little bit differently when you wanna do it with these types of buttons right here, these radio buttons, okay? Now let me show you where to find that information. What you wanna do is you wanna scroll down just a little bit on this, and this code differs right here is that you have to do GF list two columns. So if you come over here and copy that, go back to your form with your long list of radio buttons and you go to appearance there and you go to the custom class and you put in the two column and you go to update all right let's refresh our tab here now this should be pop up over there okay and there's a two column one now the same thing goes for the three column if you want the three column you just do the three column one and we'll just come over here and edit that for a second here and do the three column all right, and there's a lot of different options for this stuff. And you can just scroll down this tab and kind of see some of the things. One of the things I like about this is the gravity form inline list. So that's where you can do a list just like this, kind of scattered. And that just, you just come over here, copy this G form list. You want to go back over to your form and you want to go to your check boxes and you want to go to appearance and the custom CSS class and type inline and go to update. And go ahead and let's refresh. Now on this refresh, we should get a third column for this one. And then as you can see, our radio buttons were all put in this line right here. So that's pretty cool, guys. That's how you make multiple columns with the Gravity Forms plugin for WordPress. So go ahead and check out my other Gravity Forms tutorials. All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side.